Okay, let's start our online session on differential GPS. In differential GPS, we have already discussed what is differential GPS. Once we'll have a quick review over it. So, what is a differential GPS? Differential GPS is used to provide the improved accuracy. How we are improving the accuracy in differential GPS is in differential GPS, we'll be using two receivers one is known receiver and the other one is unknown receiver so known receiver will send corrections to the unknown receiver in order to provide the improved accuracy and to provide improvement in the positioning timing navigation that correction data will be sent from known receiver to the unknown receiver that corrections are sent either way by using any geo satellites or terrestrial links Next, uh, we have also discussed about local area DGPS. In local area DGPS, the known and unknown receivers will be in the same line of sight. Then only unknown receiver can receive the corrected data, corrections to be performed. Next, we have also discussed about wide area DGPS. So in wide area DGPS, unknown receiver can receive the corrections to be performed from any receiver which is distributed over a wide geographical area so we'll get the data from geo satellites to the unknown receiver so we have discussed all these three topics now we are moving to the next augmentation in gps so augmentation in GPS. So what is augmentation in GPS? So GPS augmentation is any system that aids GPS by providing accuracy, integrity, availability, or any other improvement to position, navigation, and timing that is not inherently part of GPS itself. So when we are augmenting GPS with any system, it will provide accuracy integrity availability and also it will provide improvement in the positioning navigation and timing which is not a part of gps itself next we have different types of augmentation systems in that first one is differential gps already we have discussed about it next one is wide area augmentation system so wide area augmentation system enhances the GPS standard positioning service and it is available over a wide geographical area. <coughs> Excuse me. So it enhances the GPS standard positioning service. <coughs> so GPS will be providing two types of services. One is standard positioning service and the other one is precise positioning service. We know about these two services. Standard positioning service is used for civilian purpose and precision positioning service is used for military services. So wide area augmentation system enhances GPS standard positioning service and it is also available over a wide geographical area so it was developed by federal aviation administration faa together with other agencies which will provide wide area differential gps corrections additional ranging signals from geo satellites and integrity data on the gps and geo satellites so this was, was developed by federal aviation administration in order to provide wide area differential gps corrections so in wide area differential gps corrections means in wide area differential gps then unknown receiver will receive signals from several known receivers so we can send that signals to gps receiver by using was next additional ranging signals from geo satellites geo satellites will also provide some pseudo ranging signals in order to provide more accurate positioning and all. And integrity data on the GPS and GEO satellites. Integrity data is same like our trustworthy data on 
of the GPS and geo satellites. Next. The primary mission of VAS is to provide a means for air navigation for all phases of flight in the national airspace system from departure, en route, arrival and through approach. So the main primary mission is, it is mainly developed for air navigation in all phases of the flight, like when a flight will take off, uh, a arrival, departure and throughout the process, en route, etc. So GPS augmented by VAS offers the capability for both non-precision approach and precision approach within a specific service volume. So it can also provide two approaches, non-precision and precision approach. In precision approach, it will produce the accurate core information, course information. And in non-precision approach, it will deviate the path. Next. The second mission of wide area augmentation system is to provide a vast network time offset. It is used to provide an offset time between the WNT and UTC for non-navigation users. Next. VAS provides improved en route navigation and precision approach capability to VAS certified avionics. So VAS provides improved en route navigation when a flight takes off and it will also provide precision approach to VAS certified avionics. So it can send the data only for the VAS certified avionics, not for all the users. Next. The safety critical VAS system consists of the equipment and software necessary to augment the Department of Defense provided GPS standard positioning service. So this VAS system for augmenting it to the Department of Defense provided GPS standard positioning service will require equipment and software for augmenting. Next. So this wide area augmentation system provides a signal in space to wide area augmentation system certified aircraft avionics using the VAS for any FAA approved phase of flight. So VAS can send the data only to the VAS certified users. That signal in space provided by VAS will provide two services. One is data on the GPS and GEO satellites and the other one is a ranging capability. It provides data on GPS and GEO satellites and ranging capability are the two services provided by VAS signal in space. So how VAS works? So here GPS will send the data, satellite data to the WRS. So GPS satellite data is received and processed at widely dispersed wide area reference stations which are strategically located to provide coverage over the required VAS service volume. So GPS satellite will send the data to the wide area reference stations. The data from wide area reference stations is forwarded to the wide area master stations which process the data from multiple WRS to determine integrity, differential corrections, residual errors and for each monitored satellite. So how the VAS works, now we'll see. So whenever a GPS sends a satellite data, GPS satellite data is first sent to the wide area reference stations. We have n number of wide area reference stations which are located strat strategically over a wide coverage. So the data is processed at wide area reference stations and that data is sent to the wide area master stations where wide area master stations will determine the integrity of the data, how much trustworthy the data is used for determining the user position, to determine the route for flight to go and on. Next, differential corrections. So here we'll get the data from GPS and GEO satellites. We'll compare these two signals and we'll check for the difference. Next, residual errors. Residual errors are the errors which occur due to propagation effects like ionosphere, tropospheric delay for each monitored satellite. So we'll determine all these three parameters from each satellite. Next. So instead of using only one 
WMS. Here we are using multiple WMS to pro eliminate single point failures within the VAS network. Next. So once WMS will determine integrity, differential corrections and residual errors, that processed data will be sent to GEO uplink subsystem and Uplinked along with the GEO navigation message to GEO satellites. So the process data from WMS is sent to the GEO uplink subsystems along with the GEO navigation message. Next, the GEO satellites download these data to the users via GPS standard positioning service L band ranging signal L1 frequency with GPS type modulation. Once the data is uplinked, that data will be downlinked to the respective users on L1 frequency band. So ground-based system communicates via terrestrial communication subsystem. So in ground-based, that is from wide area reference station to the master station, master station to the ground station, the data is transmitted using terrestrial links. Next. So in addition to providing augmented GPS data to the users, VAS verifies its own integrity and takes any necessary action to ensure that the system meets the VAS performance requirements. So this VAS not only provides the GPS augmented data, it will also check for its own integrity and takes necessary action. VAS also has a system operation and maintenance function which provides status and related maintenance information. So this VAS will also provide status and related maintenance information also. So this is how VAS look like. Already we have discussed it, right? The GPS satellite will send the data to the wide area, n number of wide area reference stations. Here n number of wide area reference stations will receive the data and that data is transmitted to the wide area master station wide area master station will check for residual errors data integrity differential corrections and that data will be sent to the geo uplink subsystem and here geo subsystem will receive the data and again process the data and downlink the data to the respective users here the user is vast receiver so only vast certified receivers can only receive the data here now in detail we'll discuss about this. So here wide area master control station is there, right? WMS. In WMS we have correction and verification processes data. We have C and V which process the data from WRS to determine. So in WMS we have C and V which will process the data received from WRS to determine integrity, differential correction, satellite orbits, ionosphere, tropospheric delays, all this will be determined. And C and V schedules and formats vast messages and forwards them to the GS for broadcast to the GV satellites. Same thing here, WMS will have C and V where C and V's corrections and verification processes. It will check whether the data received from WRS is correct or where any verification is to be performed, any corrections are to be performed and it will transmit the data to the GEO satellites. What wide area reference station will receive? So wide area reference stations collects the raw pseudo range and accumulated delta range measurements from GPS and GEO satellites selected for tracking. So WRS will receive the data from GPS satellites along with GEO satellites. It will receive the raw pseudo ranges, accumulated delta ranges. So here WRS performs smoothing on the measurements and corrects for ionospheric tropospheric delays. WRS will perform corrections for ionospheric and tropospheric delays and that data is given to the WMS. Next, what wide area master station is capable of? It will perform real-time processing, computation for delay correction, ionospheric tropospheric delay correction, determination of satellite integrity status, and it also has VAS message formatting. All these processes are done at one hertz rate. Next, in wide area master stations, it consists of several algorithms to estimate slowly varying parameters. 
So it consists of algorithms like WRS clock error estimation, broadcast ephemeris computation, orbit determination, ephemeris error computation, visibility computation. So it will check which are the satellites visible for user position calculation. Ephemeris error. Ephemeris data is what related to the satellite orbits. Orbit determination, orbit parameters, broadcast ephemeris computation, wire WRS clock error estimation. So this is about VAS.